at French Lake today. We're gonna see what else they've got here. Uh, last time we were here was almost a year ago. So I'm sure they got a ton of new stuff to look at. First, we got a few square bodies. Long box truck, no motor. Pretty cool old Suburban. Actually looks like it's a fairly clean truck. Military K5. That's cool, you don't see a whole lot of those. Here's another fairly clean C10. Must have had some mud in the fender, but overall not a bad truck. That actually would probably make a pretty decent builder for somebody, to be honest. Still got a lot of metal in it. Floors are nice. That's a nice truck. Really nice truck. Wow, that's cool. That thing was probably chopped way back in the day. That's really cool. And right behind it, a GS that looks super complete. It's got a Montana plate on it. That's a really nice car. Really nice car. And of course, for all you Jeep guys, I almost want to buy this grill and hang it in my bar in my house. That is really cool. That is super cool. I might actually have to buy that. Oldmobile 88. These cars look absolutely killer when you lay them on the ground. God, that is a cool car. All right, I am super happy with this trip. Look at all these clean, complete cars. Two country squire wagons right next to each other. That look to be super complete. Old Cutlass, another really cool car. Also very complete. Getting back into Cadillacs here. I showed this row on my last French Lake video, so I won't go too crazy. A lot of the same stuff as last year. A lot of new stuff from last year as well.
getting into some old Ford trucks. 70 F250. And a 55 F100. This one's a little rough. Cab is decent. I would say this Cheval has seen better days. I don't know if it's a 60 or 69. But she is pretty rough. Not much left of that one. 72 Bonnie. Looks like there's still some decent stuff left on it. A couple of four door Novas. A couple Corvairs. Ooh, little Corvair convertible. There's two of them. I always like these little cars. I don't know why, but I do like them. I'm getting into some Mopar stuff now. Old Plymouth Fury. She's a little rough. 67 Belvedere, also rough. Looks like someone cut the passenger side quarter off this one. Still has an engine in it though. Let's see what's in it. Slant six car. Wow, this thing is clean. It's kind of tucked away, so I'm sure someone's gonna maybe save this one. But that's a pretty nice car. A couple old Ram chargers. Old Dodge pickup, old club cab Dodge pickup back over here. That's cool. There's a crew cab short box. 74 model. That's really cool. I don't remember the last time I've seen one of these. That is super cool. No motor or tranny in it, but nonetheless, hard to find truck. Probably my favorite 50s truck. If I ever decide I'm gonna build a, a 50s truck, it's gonna be one of these. 72 Le Mans. I used to have a 71, I loved that car. I do have another project also coming to the channel at some point. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but uh, 70 through 72 Le Mans, I could maybe use some parts off of it. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but you'll have to subscribe for that because at some point I'll tell you, but I'm sure you can probably figure it out in the comments what it's going to be. Last year when we were here, this C4 Corvette was in the same spot and there was a blue one here that actually had some really cool ground effects and stuff on it. I wonder if someone didn't pick that car up and maybe try and do something with it or maybe they just crushed it, I don't know. If you watched my last French Lake video, you probably remember that car that I'm talking about. Bullet dart swingers. This one's pretty far gone. Not that there's a whole lot of value to these mid 70s dart swingers anyways. This one was a 75, the one next to it was a 75. Pre 72 is typically the way to go on those cars. Right past this car, 86 Monte Carlo. Must have been someone's hot rod back in the day. Look at that, look at those old taillights. They had dollar signs in them. <laughs> top car I bet this was a pretty cool car back in the day more G body stuff 
I think this is probably one of the ugliest generations of Monte Carlo. And second ugliest generation Monte Carlo. And what's left of a Cutlass 442. Someone cut the roof off. That's too bad. Those are really cool cars. I always liked them. The frame rails are really nice on this car too, it looks like. That's always a really common issue with G-bodies is they rot out right back in here. Especially back here, which I'm sure there is some, some rust underneath behind the quarter, but still a lot better than a lot of them. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, thank you again for watching. And again, there's a lot of stuff I didn't really show or talk about a whole lot, and that's just because it's already on my other French Lake video. If you wanna see that, go check that one out. See ya.